Hello and welcome to another episode of Civ 5. Uh, unfortunately the last video I've just posted up I was going to be creating a series playing through as the mod nation known as the amalgamation. Uh, my save file from that is faulty so I can't continue that. Fortunately I was only a little bit in when I got interrupted so I'm just going to start again with additional starting worker, more pamphlets, more luxuries and Frank and Civ enabled as my only mod. I feel like that's not too much to really change the game other than the main mod that I'm trying to showcase which is the Frank and Civ. I really enjoy playing as them, I just find it fun since I basically stopped playing the game quite a while ago because as, as you know Civ 5 came out quite a while ago and for me it started to become tedious. I played it several several millions of times and I just feel like playing as this Civ freshes it up and makes it enjoyable again. So we'll just get this game loading up straight away, fast as possible, see what we get given to us as a starting location. Hopefully it's as good as it was in my last game. In fact, hopefully it's even better, because although, although it was pretty nice, it wasn't anything special in any way. So this really shouldn't take too long to load, so in fact, there we go. We're ready to go. Uh, already seem to have a much m more high production start, which I'm more than happy with. Let's move our Pathfinder about, gain ourselves some increased vision. Uh, <coughs> from what I can see, I'll maybe end up with. This seems like a small island to me rather than a continent I'll probably end up with a couple of cities on here I quite like the idea of settling in place because it would give me a coastal city and it being a continent's map I'm going to want some boats and such I'll move you over there because you're going to be farming that and yeah why don't I just settle in place why not lock that tile in because it's obviously better than the one that I was originally wanting to work I don't know why it was doing that uh, based on that I think I've started on a small island and rather than a continent there's not going to be much to scout I'm just going to jump straight into the still which uh, is the first thing I'll talk about is the first instance of a replacement from this mod nation Normally this would be a monument, but the stele is a unique building from the Ethiopians, I believe. Which normally the monument would just be giving me plus two culture, this gives me plus two culture and plus two faith. So obviously that's going to help you immediately. And trying to get access to an early pantheon. I'm already gaining plus one faith because I've settled next to a forest and that's a unique trait from the Celtic Empire. Next I'll come up here, I'll meet a city state. Let's see who we get. City state. Uh, it's maritime, which is okay. I personally, my personal preference is uh, cultural city states. But well, there we go, we have found the Allura. Also gained 500 gold there, early. that's awesome. The Allura for me is one of the better natural wonders. Not so much when you're playing the Amalgamation because you don't really struggle for faith production in any way, but that said, it's actually even stronger as the amalgamation because you have unique traits from Spain which doubles the yields of natural wonders 
making that into a four foot tile as well as a 12 faith tile which is ridiculous I'm going to be wanting a very early settler uh, in fact I may be choosing gold from this ancient ruin just to try and get to buy a settler as early as possible I'm not sure though because normally I would pick tech in fact I'm still going to pick tech because hopefully it doesn't give me pottery because I've already half researched it Thou shalt not husbandry that's brilliant that's what I would have desired if I could have chosen any of them myself found horses or found horses so I've got at least one two three pastures and I don't know, two pasture. That's a camp that goes on them, yeah, it's not a pasture. There's another pasture there. Number two ruins. This looks like a nice wee island it's given me. I could definitely see myself settling maybe four or five cities here. Let's sit there, let's grab the gold. Hundred, that's lovely. I can almost afford a settler right now. Which is ridiculous, frankly. I love this bloody nation. Uh, we got a population point. That's good. Let's come in here. Uh, I can't afford to leave that there because I want to grow. I may put it here though. It's only one extra point of food, but it's still getting reproduction in gold. Yeah, why not? We'll do that. Uh, that's good. I can pass. I can put pastures on these straight away because I found the animal husbandry. That's excellent. Let's come up here. Let's upgrade my unit. I love pastures. They're really strong, elegant tiles. Yeah, I don't know. So many things that I want early game. Uh, let's start my pathfinder. Even if this island is going to be scared to do, and an extra pathfinder is still going to be good because I can drop it in the ocean. Oh ho! Hello. My name. Well, it's not my namesake. I'm not called Budica, but. I think you can tell where I'm from using my accent. Uh, right, so I think I'm choosing culture from pastures. Oh, let's have a quick look. I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that, I don't want that. Most of these are not situationally applicable for the start. Goddess of the Harvest is always good. It's this not at war point, which means that it can be bad depending on what type of game you think you're going to be playing. I'm not seeing this stuff from pasture. Plus one culture from cattle, sheep, and horse. It doesn't even need the pasture on it. Wow, that's strong. I'm going to go ahead and pick that. I'm going to... Let me see. Ah, it's got food on it already. I'm going to sacrifice the two gold there for the one point of culture. I've got enough gold now to buy a settler if I wanted to be so bold as to do it this early. Frankly, I think I'd do. Uh, what am I going to do now? What am I going to do? Go down me. Let's have a look. I don't really need fishing boats, particularly. I don't really need. Mining would be nice to get copper up and running especially if I got both of them up and cotton because I've met someone already and I could sell it that sounds like a reasonably strong idea 
I'm going to fly straight into Raiden first though and then I'm going to go into the main because this wee guy is going to be taking up his time on the pastures first. So there's where the both initial cities from the Celts are. That's good to know that they've already used a starting settler. Sometimes you find them wandering around for a few turns for some reason. Obviously, playing on day to difficulty, they start with two settlers, that's what I'm referring to. Sometimes the second one just wanders around for a while. Eh. I feel I always pick tradition in this, and I would quite like to go a different route, but tradition for me is just so strong, and can usually fly through it quite quickly as well. So I'm going to go ahead and continue with that. There's another city state. It's a religious one. It's another maritime. Okay, we can freely walk through their borders because uh, of their of having access to the native trade from Greece. I forget what it's called, but it means you can walk through city state borders without your relationship depreciating at all. It's just another nice little perk of being this new I meant to turn that off earlier and change it for a granary but a uh, pyramid sorry but oh well, I forgot. Let's bugger it and buy this cell uh, the earlier we get this sitting sit down you know the better it's great as I pass you up and running and get started on another one Let's see it wants me to settle right there that for me is going to be just about too much overlap it also looks like we're going to be going into snow and the other useless crap right down here because that's the very bottom of the map you can tell there's ice so I've actually got one less city placement than my first four I was going to have, that's why. Right. Definitely want the server to come up into this area. Continue making pastures, that's a good boy. Yep, I was right. All of that is now snow. That wants me settled there. I have no idea why. It can shut its face, I'm not doing that. I need to watch what I'm doing here, make sure I don't go any, make any negative money. Because I basically just spent it on that server. And yep, there's absolutely bugger all in there. Now, where do I settle up here? I'm going to spend a little moment just wanting the best spot. I'm going to go to a coastal city. That one around here. I'll get access to another one. luxury. That's good. I'll get the fish, the wheat, the horse, the wonder, the copper. That would allow me enough room to then set on another city up here. Gaining access to all of this, this oasis, the wheat, the horse, the dye, the fish, the bison. They set on another city over here. Gaining access to all of this stuff. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I'll be settling right there. That's good. I can turn that grid back off. F by any chance you guys anyone who watches this thinks it would be better with game volume on just let me know i personally don't usually play with the game volume on and i certainly 
didn't think it would be a good idea to do so what with me puffing over it so much but if you think it's just a bit too plain and bare please let me know and I'll fix that for any future videos I'm more than happy to do that Once we found my city in these places because it's got access to a river, I can understand that. But I'm trying to leave my room, leave myself more room for extra positioning. There we go. Both food and 12th. I will be getting a religion in no time, guys. Again, production focus. Just start straight on like a caravan or something. I don't need these things now. Although they're still useful for the extra, like a culture from this, and this gives me science. Yeah, so I do still need to build those buildings. I've got a barbarian up here, that's a bit of a pain, but I'll be able to bring this guy around and smash him. That's cool, that's no worries. citizens uh, tell them my growth is pretty low 92 tons until a new citizen is born ok that will go down once I get the pasture on this but I definitely need a granary to try and speed that up a little bit cannot be waiting that long for <laughs> population growth that's ridiculous it's because I'm already unhappy, that's something I didn't think about <laughs> with how quickly I rushed that second city out I forgot just how hard that happiness hit from playing on dating difficulty was hmm, I'm, def I'm going to need to prioritise mining now, I'm going to need to get my luxuries up and running how many tons? four tons, so you will be finished that by the time mining is complete That's Fine. You like trade in, but see, I'm happy with that. The longer I can stay off you going to worry me, the better. Not that I'm afraid of going to war with her, but I like to go to war on my own terms if possible. Oh yeah, unhappiness just decreased by two. Not sure why, but I'm definitely pleased that it did. Okay, you can come over here. You can kill that yourself, gaining a little bit of experience and a little bit of. Oh, I forgot that as well. I'm getting culture from all my kills because of the native trait from the Aztecs. So, being able to farm a barbarian hut is actually awesome. Here, that's great. That's finished now. Uh, you require a calendar. You can work on that. <coughs> I always debate whether to farm or mine hills. If that was a grassland tile, I would definitely farm it. But being as a plains, no, I'm not particularly bothered, I'll probably drop a mine on it when I can. In the meantime, I'm just going to start farming here, I'm actually not going to complete it. As soon as mining is complete, I'm going to swap my worker over onto that. Get the copper up and running, ASAP. this guy back through before those borders close up and I'm stuck there we go, there we go, that's a go I just wasted all those tons but god I'm an idiot uh, I just got 
a steal for free in here using my cultural policy that I picked. I, I had currently been building one, but you know, whatever. Again, this granary is going to take that growth down from 55 to 27. That's a big difference. You can jump on there, stop that. Thank you. Get yourself through that. Let me see now, let me see. I didn't have I needed calendar for those dies. But the dies are up there. I don't need that right now. I don't need the masonry for that right now either. What do I need? I can pretty much make use of most of my stuff right now. So I'm gonna start working towards Ceiling. You can. I would like to do that right now, but I'm wondering if your second worker would be more beneficial. Change up there. Work all these tiles. Working on ceiling right now to get myself work bolts, so I can hook up a coral, put myself back into. More positive happiness. You want that barbarian camp killed? That's fantastic. I'm happy to do that. Let me see. Let me see. Caravan to send a trade route. Uh, I think that's a not such a good idea because I'd be better off with cargo ship. Uh, yeah, I'm going to start on the paper maker. Once I am um, up another population point, I may well... Uh, what are these? What was I saying? I may well make myself another settler, but we'll see how it goes. I would be turned more defense, more range. Yeah, I'll be going with that. Fortify you. It'd take me a while to be able to kill this using that little guy, but as you can see, this little composite bowman's coming back. He'll help speed things along. Everybody demands gold, I can't get you gold. Unless you have any, you don't seem to. Do you want all dies, the guys? Which is something I'm going to have anyway. You fought a fight. These composite bowmen so early in the game are brilliant. The only reason I have one so early is, again, because I'm this amalgamation nation. <laughs> Amalgamation Nation, that's fun to say. Uh, and when you get an upgrade, it's the same if you are the Shoshone. If you get a you know, upgrade from a goodie hut on your Pathfinder, as, a, as opposed to when you get them from a scout, it upgrades it to an archer. When you get them on a Pathfinder, it upgrades them to a composite bowman. So you can quite reasonably have a composite bowman with um, the very first few turns of the game and it is incredibly strong if in fact you are willing to build maybe two or three pathfinders not normally what you would do but if you do it and you get them all upgraded to composite bowman before anyone actually has the research to build composite bowmen, then you're there. You're in a very strong position to go out and kill people. So with religion, I usually pick 
pretty much the same stuff because I'm fairly uninspired when it comes to religion. I actually think my religion game's a bit weak, to be honest. But, yeah, I'm actually not going to pick Tithe, I'm going to pick World Church. Fancy having quite a bit of culture on this game. Eh. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pick Rel. I might not pick plowshares on this game because I actually think I'm going to be at war. But I might play for a lazy game and just try and avoid war wherever possible and just plow through with the culture. I will see how it goes. I'll pick religious community for now. Just to make sure I get it and no one else picks it. And for my bonus belief. Let me see, let me see. I might pick cathedrals because of this, the arc slot. I feel it's pretty strong, especially if you're going to be an expansive nation. Which I can see myself definitely having quite a few cities. I like to sell quite wide, but maybe not overly wide. I mean, it depends. We'll see how much space I can find on any uh, close by island. Let me see, let me see. Nothing's jumping out at me. I might just pick something to help my religion spread already. In fact, bugger it, I'm gonna go swords from Polo Shields as well. Straight away. I'm not getting much of a bonus from them yet because my populations are so low but every little will help the earlier you can get them the more help it's going to give you so that's great you continue resting that's fine you can get let me have a look in here there's quite a bit of rough terrain but actually a lot of open terrain around the cities where I'm likely to be fighting so actually you can pick open terrain, I don't normally do that, I usually always go rough. But it's good to have, even if you're going mostly rough with your promotions, it's good to have one or two that are focused on open. Right, so that's that cleared, let's see if they spawn another unit in it before I can take it next time. They did, called that. So, I'm sorry, I guess there's been a little bit of experience on these guys. Also, a little bit of extra culture from killing them. And there we go, I'm back a positive happiness. I can finally grow this city again. I expanded a little too quickly, that was my own silly fault. Uh, let's go into calendar now. access to that silk you now have an extra citizen that's right I want you to go there an extra point of culture and the good points of production because you're not getting any from this and you're working this for the whole game I don't care just go for people and actually you still got quite a while left on that pyramid I may throw the paper maker on of it. Mm. I don't really see it impacting my potential national college too much. In fact, I'm always worried about taking too long to get my national college, so yeah, bug it up, we'll put that first. Yeah, let's get a work boat out. Get that coral working. Great library's gone already. Crazy day. As you get further through the game, as the amalgamation, you will you most definitely have caught up with tech. And it's basically because you've got the plus 20% trait to world building wonders from Egypt. 
you will actually be able to snag a few, maybe even mid-game, but certainly late-game wonders that you probably couldn't get otherwise. And that's the native trait from Germany kicking in right there. When you conquer a barbarian camp, you have a chance of recruiting a unit. I might in fact just disband this wee guy though because all he's doing is taking up maintenance costs. But I'll I'll hold hold on to him because it'll be good to plop in the water and get him to scout for me. Everywhere has grown. That's good. We'll come down here. Jump in here. We'll use the wee guy. I can work that production tile, and it's still only seven tons to grow. That's pretty good. I'll work this one instead because the main one is going to finish. Right, continuing onwards. I quite like this start. It's a good start without being a great start, and I'm quite happy with that. Yeah, I'm making gold at the moment, so I don't need to rush towards this. I can continue into getting more food and growth for my cities which I'm more than happy to do, I love to grow quickly I feel growth in this game is the key to success pretty much uh, you can wait there try to block any expansion if the decamy send that way oh, we just got use out of another native trait uh, from the English that work ball wouldn't have been able to reach there in one turn if we didn't have a trait from the English in which it gives us an extra two movement points for all of our all of our C units so there we go we're into some serious plus happiness again now that's great and our next two cities are going to have fresh new one, uh, wonders, fresh new luxuries for us as well. So that's even better. I'm going to grow in three tons, so I'm not going to start a settle right now. I'm going to wait until that happens. Other than that, though, I'm going to begin to produce a cargo ship. You can prepare yourself to get trapped in the water that's the next thing that you're going to do and just wait there these are going to be some pretty quick turns now because I'm not actually moving anything or scouting at all for a while Sorry. that's good, that plows us through the game a little bit uh, we're going now we're going into optics so that we can embark our units That's something I meant to point out as well. It's something that's missing from the amalgamation nation, actually. And that a native trait from Polynesia is that you can embark your units straight away from the world go at turn one. And obviously, as you can see, I cannot do that. I still have to wait to research optics. So that's something that hasn't been amalgamated. It's something that in my opinion has to be addressed in the mod I personally don't have a foggiest clue how to do anything like that so I'm going to try let me see uh, I really don't want to capture my land while it's there so although I would like my cities to grow right now I'm going to start on the settler production I feel I have to it's going to benefit us more in the long run. Nice city up here, and nice city over there. That's good, it's got a nice, a strong production tile. We can come over here now, we can spend 14 tons on that. You want to buy my You want to give me a shed load of horses for it? I'm not happy with that. I'd rather wait until you get enough money to pay me the full price for it. 
because I will end up with horses of my own and even at that I'm not planning on being particularly war fairy unless I have to for some unknown reason production from it. That's great. Definitely want another worker sooner rather than later. I'm guessing you have a fun. You do. You have 15% production of building pre-industrial wonders. So hopefully you're actually going to use that and maybe build a wonder or two that I am able to pinch off of you. You have the ability to purchase mosques as one of you. Th and what else do you have? Plus two gold for each city following this religion. So she's definitely going to want to try and convert my cities. And I feel like when she starts doing that, that may well be the time for me to think about declaring some war and now I'm gonna let her convert my city she's gonna be very happy to go through the game without fighting at all not really sure how I'm gonna go about that right. we'll see at the time we'll see how it goes yep there we go I was waiting to see if that happened because I wasn't 100% sure if I did or not. Uh, when I researched optics, I got this little guy, a merchant of Venice, which is obviously a unique unit to Venice. What he is, he is basically a great merchant, but with the potential to use this little button here, which basically annexes a city state and makes them mine. If I were to do that with Quebec, I would get a city that has a luxury that I won't have otherwise, so I don't really need to worry about the happiness hit. Slightly tempting, it's not a great city. It's going to have a whole load of overlap between these two. It's got three coastal look there. Uh, resources though which means it's going to have decent growth regardless I'll have this extra pasture mm. it is tempting let me have a look how is this one over here no that's not a very good location not a very good location at all these are the only two that I've found so far there are certainly more I could find without trying too hard Alternatively, I could use this to gain a lot of favour with the city-state. Which would basically ally me with them for a long time, which would give me a good portion of food in my capital and a little bit of food throughout all the other cities. It would also give me a good dollop of money doing so I could buy another settler I'm currently working on a settler though so I don't really hmm yeah I don't think I'm going to annex that city state I think I'm just going to gift them let's see let me see I could use the money from it to buy my libraries so I can get my National College up. That sounds particularly strong. I'm feeling quite happy with that idea. Yeah, I think we have a game plan here. Continue over.
I find I'm wanting to own this city state later in the game, I can very easily capture it. Right, so, I feel f the first city over here I will be settling is up this way. Again, keeping it coastal so I can use cargo ships and use it to build boats later in the future. If I end up with iron on my island, I can build frigates, and frigates are friggin' awesome. So, as you can see, using the Merchant of Venice, as opposed to a normal great merchant, doubles both of these figures here, that would normally be plus 30 influence and 600 gold, but, bang, that's a shed load of money and a shed load of influence, they're now 103, and it's depreciating, it takes me 3 tons to lose 1 point, so I'm allied with them for a long time as you can see. I can now enhance my religion already. Now let's see what we want. Let's see if there's anything strong. Pagodas are always good. <coughs> the faith, the cult, and the happiness. Cathedrals are gone. I was looking to pick up cathedrals actually. I found nothing else to stop others from getting them. But okay, I'll definitely pick up pagodas here then because I don't feel any of those have much use at all. And for my enhanced belief, I will just pick up religious texts because, as I say, my religion game is fairly weak in this version of stuff. I feel like religious texts just. I feel like it helps, but. Oh, sorry, I feel like it should help. But in practice, it seems to be quite underwhelming actually. Right, let's set up here, keep that coastal. Our Vista is here, meaning it can't access either of these tiles. It's good we have all these tiles to ourselves right now. You can, yeah, you lock that just now, that's fine. You only got the one wheat tail, correct? Correct. Does the greenery enhance bison? No, it does not. So let's go with the idea that we had. Let's buy the paper maker, even though it's not actually giving us anything right now. Uh, go ahead and start the pyramid. She may not moan at that one, but once I put my next set down, she's definitely going to moan that I'm expanding, and probably even that I'm expanding too close. So, I got optics ages ago and I haven't popped these guys in the water yet. That's a failure. I should have been out and scouting. But I haven't. It's been getting whales from Quebec as well, so much, much, much more happiness again. I have too many happies. I'm going to bring this guy down this way so that he can go up and find out what's in that other place. Let's see what you've got. You're a 113 tile. Nah, I think I'll work the ones that I'm currently working. I think that's fine. Hope my borders are going to grow towards this deer because I'm going to want some more food tiles. In the meantime. This other set well, you can start moving towards there. <coughs> Where's this guy heading? He can't go around there because bloody card is in the way, so that's alright. He's gonna have to pop over here and go up and explore that way. That's fine. <coughs> I 
feel like mentioning as well that if contrary to what I was actually mentioning earlier with the idea of me not having the game music on because I didn't want it on and me talking over it and such I feel it may have conflicted a little bit also feel free to mention if I'm talking too much if I'm just talking nonsense and you feel like a lot of it isn't necessary I can definitely cut back on the commentary I just feel the whole point of it pretty much is to voice it over and it would actually be quite dull otherwise if I wasn't doing that yeah, let's focus this production tile continue onwards the pattern has been built in a faraway land so that means that you didn't build it that's a shame hello Dutchy boy he has so much go for him already, oh my god. Both heads. Oh my god. from it? No, just seven. Second Okay, that's fine, I'll do. I'll do that for now. Thank you for the gold. In fact, he's very close. Once we settle exactly there, I'm not sure if that will be where I'm settling, but I certainly find out this the border tiles for this city have popped far better away than it can actually use already, which I find odd. I definitely want to set within three squares of that marble to get access to it, so one, two, three that would cover that and I would get all these lovely culture tiles I would get only the one fish it's not too good I would only have two tiles of overlap really two reasonable tiles anyway mm, I think it may be right I think that is the spot to settle Settle right here. No, no, that isn't better. Okay, we've found where to settle. Put that there. We'll certainly expect Budica to complain at us for doing so, but you know, whatever. It's the AI, they complain anyway. Get that paper maker out of the way. Yeah, you can finish that and then, or you can't actually start on that yet. Because I haven't researched it. <laughs> so, okay, we're still eight turns away from starting our national college, but that's good. It means once we get access to it, we can start building it straight away. It's a perfect game plan. Pop up there. And I'm so Let's trade an embassy, that'll be fine. In fact, I forgot to do that with William. So, yeah. there we go. Most people are happy to do that. And you're better off doing it early before they maybe fall out of favour with you and don't want to do it anymore. You don't have production focus yet. Build me your permit. So we try and stay out of the way of the barbarians. Chances that we may not get any more ancient ruins in this game, unfortunately. Oh god, we need to jump back in a lot. Save ourselves from that. In fact we will still get shot a little bit, but it won't be anything too dire. Uh, you want my religion? I'd be more than happy to 
bread that large and take it. I need myself a missionary, I think. I'm not sure how much he's going to cost me. And then I have 101 faith, I'm not going to get that for 5 tons. Actually, with that finishing, I'll be able to get it for 4 tons. That's not too bad. I'm not going to leave house, it's not going to be much benefit in that city. So, starting a worker. Where's my very new city? Yakut. In fact, that would be a good amount of gold. Kind of discovered nine technologies that you do not know. You are receiving zero science in this trade route. You have discovered two, you are receiving zero from you. I would get five science from that trade route though, and I can't say no to five science at this point in the game, I definitely can't. And in fact, I think I would benefit from getting more trade routes up right now to send them to other cities and get more science benefits but I definitely need that another worker so we'll get that first you won't benefit from my granny too much I prefer to wait until I can build boats that come bom bombard and would upgrade in the future frigates. I'm starting on another work boat. That wouldn't be too bad of an idea. I'm sure it's fish one, but I said it's plus one. Plus one food from coast and ocean tiles. This is coastal. So I would have both of those. Hmm. Let's actually just pump out a little military unit. For the deterrent. I will work the other hand, I don't believe you for a minute, but it's probably you that enhanced your religion now. It was Morocco. Yeah, I've got some really I've got two very strong religious nations as my neighbours there. Let's scoot you in there. Trying to avoid you taking any more damage than you already have. I don't want you to die. Reformation belief added from Morocco as well. Which means they must have went petty. I could just pop in there. Uh, Panels and check if they have one pay, but I don't feel the need. I answered that question for me. There is only one good knowledge. Ask me, I now have access to my national college. Great. As soon as that work is finished, which is next turn, good timing, I'll pretend I meant that. I'll get started on my national college. Uh, I'm right. Pop a missionary. I had a friend who played this game with me for a while, a couple of years ago, and every time he said missionary, he started to giggle. Uh, yeah, can they tell you a little bit about him? Anyway, that's quite a tangent. Let's see where are we going now? Gardens would be nice for the growth in our capital. I feel like I think it's only going to affect our capital. Mm -hmm. It would affect you as well. Hmm. I'm going to be busy building that for the next 15 tons or so anyway. Let's uncover some iron. Can you 
you scared them in that way. And then here and finish that. You can actually go, you can go there. Go quite nicely. You can start spreading the love. You might be dying, son. Just run your way and get you rested up. Happy again already, you can start moving yourself towards that luxury and improve it. And then I'll get nice and new. So you can then go and improve that one straight afterwards. That'll be fine. up there because you're not under pressure from any barbarians and you've got that double promotion which lets you rest up really quickly when you're outside of friendly territory I forgot about that that's great and let's pop you up there Another city state. Who wants a camp killed? Then I'm going to be able to get to that in time. Turns out that's the same camp that one killed. But yeah, we'll be able to capitalise on that. Alright, let's get you following my pantheon. So we can start getting culture from these Let's see the camp way up there ok we need to drop you back in the water and swim you up that way just the only chance that you can get it show what I'm looking for. I was looking for the tab you can go through it to show you what nations built what wonders. Global politics, there we go. Now deal with tradition, you're behind me though, I've already finished tradition. You've got a great lighthouse and a mausoleum, I'm not bothered with that. You get Stonehenge, I'm not bothered with that. You get Parthenon in the library. So you're going to be quite strong Going through the game. You may be my first target for war, but we'll see. You've stolen one of his units. I'd love to be able to get that back. You settled again up here. We'd have been better settling further up this little peninsula. Unless you plan on settling again, which I doubt. There's an ancient ruin, actually, if it's still there. I doubt it. Let's now bring you over to Wellington. See if we can't get them influenced by our stuff. Our, our religion, sorry. regards to the commentary in the video if, I, if you maybe can't understand my accent or whatever just let me know I can polish it up a bit make it easier right, let's see what have we been skipping in here mm, not bother, not bother we could start with a real tone a cargo ship, I don't like how long it's going to take. What does that get us? I guess it's faith and happiness. Happiness is going to be good too. Okay, fine. 
do that. Uh, let me pull our right through currency now. Currency's always strong. You can bring yourself towards this front with the Celts. In case they want to try putting any fights. Back up out of the way at some point to regenerate his HP. I refer to it as HP rather than hit points because I'm quite a big RPG player. In fact, if you looked at my channel, you would notice that I just started uploading some videos from a very old MMO, FF11. You're a fan of Final Fantasies in general. You want camp killed as well. You want the same camp killed. As a matter of fact, the camp is actually still there. This could be very beneficial. Let's see, are we still working the best tiles in this city? Mm, I'd say so, yeah. If I can even come up for that and go in there, increase our growth a little bit. Definitely need access to this deer. If it doesn't start going towards it, I need to buy my way towards it. We'll see how that goes. We'll continue farming along this river, however. Up there and hooked up that miss that marble really early. Which would probably have been a better idea. Scout for a couple of times with this guy before that. Jesus Christ, that's a big hit. Okay, it's going to take us a while to get in there. Pathfinder into that, I could get him upgraded. I need to scout out that island anyway. You build a path, oh Jesus, you have no body production yet. Hoping that wouldn't happen, but I will. Okay, you can start resting up. What I was hoping wouldn't happen is that they would spawn another unit outside that barbarian camp. <coughs> Converting you should have more than enough pressure for me to be converting. Game often confuses me with that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get our first pagoda. <coughs> 
jump up on that hill. Oh my. You can, that does convert into my rod, you know. Excellent fun. Happy dozy. You. Fine. This city is growing much slower than I would usually like my capital cities to grow. Purely down to the tiles that are around it, I suppose. You can come over here and work that production tile. That would do nicely. I can buy another set if I want to, but the problem with that. All the nearby land is already pretty much occupied. Unless there's something decent in here, which I'm hoping there will be. And you come and scout that. You're not getting through there. You don't have open bottles, I don't know why it's saying that. You can jump in there now. In fact, I believe that he used to be. He has a path thing though. Yeah, so one, two, three. You can pop up there. Take another shot at that. And get in there eventually, I think. Hanging gardens would definitely speed us along. Also, comes a free candy building. Yeah, give my candy. Is must be a watermill replacement, but I thought that's what the plum garden was. I'm not sure. Oracle again is nice. I'm not too worried about that though. Let's build another cargo. I really tend to go for that while it's available though. Screw it, I'm going to try and get it. Stop me from farming, I'm going to chop a couple of forests. See if we can't speed the hanging gardens along. Eyes up and running. We now need to haul ass over there. Hey, embassies, why not? You can trade them off for a one gold per ton, but one gold per ton is already very negligible. I made the right decision with that. Awesome. Uh, looks like a 
capture it. I'm getting a free tech at this stage of the game is rare. And excellent. Even though it's really trapping, it's probably only saving me a few turns. I don't. Been able to get a free tech at this stage of the game is very rare. Open all those gnawing. Ah, no thanks. Very good. Plop yourself in the water. Try. So there. You can start swimming back up that way. Oh. Another rune, that's great. Mm, do we like? Oh, we got access to our currency now, that's good. And uh, we'll get construction now, I think, so we can. Prepare for decent units. Now let's go straight into civil service. Stop working on that. Seems that we are winning the cultural war so far in this game. It doesn't a huge deal, but it's still nice. We'll buy ourselves another pagoda, so we're going to do just that. Uh, start working on another cargo ship, I think. Let's get in here. Let's go. Let's actually get a population point. Didn't tell me where it gave it to it. I think it get automatically gives you to your closest city though. Which is what I was hoping it would do. Put it there. If I get that hooked up, I can sell that. I can start making more money. Definitely want to do that. Actually, seems I could sell a set here. I'm going to I'm definitely going to buy a set up. Piss these guys off even more. Continue to be buying a walker as well and sending it with it. Oh, I've got this little walker. That's right. I can send him over there. Oh, I can't send over there. Right that way. Bugger. I don't have the open borders to allow for that. Fine. Is that been chopped? Let's drop in the water, son. Turn it that way. Once I get this next city founded, I think I might just call it a day on this video. I like the birds that have a good little starting point. Oh, hopefully you can get our next turn in the city state themselves don't do it. Right, so at this point, this juncture of the game, playing as the amalgamation, I tend to jump in. Patronage, patronage, sorry. We'll see why as I continue to go through that tree in the next video. Let's see where this guy is. Good production gold, why not? Yeah, by the time that's chopped, that will have finished anyway. Although there's not much other use for it. Let's change you to Sidnazea. Send you over to William. Hopefully I can gain almost as much science from a trade route as I did by sending one to the Celts. 
Oh, here we go, front of 60. Oh, Baba. Need to run him away. And go. Thank you very much. Also, gave myself another unit. Starting to give me some really bad times. And I've not got anyone for specialist yet either. And maybe I shouldn't have went with the growth stuff. Although it will be beneficial later in the game when I can start using specialists. So that's fine. Two or something from our train track is not the best. Certainly, it's okay though. If I sent me Edinburgh, I would also be transferring my religious pressure to, to me, is that correct? Just send it to Calder for Fink. It gives me the most money and still gets me the same amount of signs. Okay, we'll do that. Look at it, you can buy a worker. Thank you. Second, my city being crap. But once we settle there, I'm not going to settle over there somewhere. Maybe not in that exact spot, but definitely in that anyway. Hexapyramid, doesn't it? Finish your promotion. You can rest. You can start moving about. You can meet him. You know, can help him against barbarians. Certainly, well to see them. Start working on these tiles. Yeah, start working. That's a long one, but that's what she said. Uh, it's going to be worth it. I can't get past it now because of that little gap. It's fine. Go back in the water. The coast is long. Whatever you say, pal. The targets somewhere. It's over there. Will I give them that walker back, or will I keep it? I could get. I could definitely gain myself an ally quite quickly by giving them the walker back and killing that barbarian camp. It's tempting. It's certainly tempting. Let's skip you through there. Let's. Keep you over there. <coughs> Let me see. Do I have the potential to sell two cities in that space? Oh. I'm not so sure I do. Let's drop you. Put you in the water. If I set one on that hill. Normally that would be too close to Wellington, but when it's across water, it doesn't matter. You can settle as close as you want. So I could settle there. If I get the two bananas, the fish, the dyes. And we could also settle up here. Getting the fish, the whale, the rest of these tiles. Hmm. Tempting, definitely tempting. So let's go ahead and capture this little guy and return them. That was really good timing, they were about to be able to do that themselves. They would have just walked out and took him. What else do we have going on here? National Epic, I don't need that yet. Writers Guild, yes please. Mena Gilsha, Lovers, Gilsha, Lovers, 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 Lovers,
my bind. <clears throat> you were scrapped, let's stop swarming him over towards where we need him. Where I can start killing your enemies. Let's have a look. We met someone else. We also, wants a barbarian camp kill. Barbarians are being nice to us. Let's go over there and kill that forest as well. There's no point to the forest because it's going to be out with the bottles of all of our cities. Alright, so am I going ahead with that placement that I mentioned before? I think I am. Obviously, me now, I need another set. Well, if I did go for just placing the one city and I placed it there, it wouldn't be coastal, unfortunately. If I placed it there, I would get both the bananas, I would get the fish, the whales, the dyes, the cattle most of the land I feel the one good city would be stronger than two decent cities the only thing I really miss by settling there is that one fish not too big of a deal and yeah I think I'll go ahead with that so what do you want killed? you want that killed? I'm only a wee path thing that I can't really help you with that but He's too far away as well. Oh. To show what to do with that, I'll try, but I probably won't get it. Right, guys, uh, as I'm busting for the toilet anyway, and I'm going to go and get some demo stock on, I'm going to save this video, and that will be it for this episode please tune in if you enjoyed this for the next video i will be seeing this game out to a conclusion and we will learn more about this amalgamation ciao